Hey, I'm Tom, and recently I created and released a simple reminder app for Android. Here's how it went. It all started when I needed a way to create really simple reminders on my phone. I didn't want these to sync to all of the smart devices in my family's home though. I literally just wanted it to display a notification on my phone. So, after trying some apps on the Play Store, I realized they were all missing something. Either features such as repeating notifications, having small annoyances, or even just bad UI. Naturally then, my only choice as a software developer was to create my own. Now, I'm notoriously bad at planning projects, so instead of making a plan, I just dive straight into it. Flutter was my weapon of choice, and if you don't know what Flutter is, it's basically a tool to create cross-platform apps. In my case though, I was only interested in using it to make an Android app. First up was the ability to add notes. It seemed pretty important for a reminder app. I created a simple page to enter details about the note, including this not-so-great-looking date picker. Now remember, if you're creating an app, get the basic functionality down first. You can always change the appearance later, but getting a solid foundation now is much more important. And that's exactly what I did with the date picker. Now, it'd be kind of useless if the app forgot all your notes every time you close the app. So I needed to make sure the notes were saved to the device once they were created. Another vital part of the app was notifications. It took me a while to get them working, but once I did, notifications were sent either immediately or whenever the reminder was scheduled. Some of the issues here I faced included the app needing to ask the user for permission to send notifications, which was a new feature in Android 13. And a bit later on was the issue of making sure the app's UI updates when a notification was marked as done, because otherwise you'd mark it as done and it would still appear in the app, which was really confusing. So now that some of the more basic features were implemented, I took some time to make the app look a bit nicer. One of my goals for this project was to ensure that it had a really nice UI and that it blended in with other system apps. I decided to use Material 3, the design system used in Android 12 and above, which includes the ability for the app to alter its colours depending on whatever wallpaper the user has set. This made the app look so much nicer and I continued to add some remaining features. At the minute, you haven't been able to delete notifications or even mark them as completed. So my next task was to make an archiving system and a page where you could see a list of all your previous notifications. I made the mark as done button in the notification, actually mark the notification as done instead of doing literally nothing. And these notifications then showed up in the new page. The ability to swipe notes in the app was my next task, which let you manage notifications easier. You could swipe them away when you're done with them and then swipe them away to delete. When I released the first version of Notally on the 23rd of January, I knew that testing was crucial to ensure a bug-free experience. But since I didn't have a dedicated test release or testers, I relied on a few friends who installed the app to ask as test subjects. Thanks guys. As a first time user of Firebase, Analytics and Crashlytics, I found these tools to be incredibly helpful. Firebase offers a suite of development tools, including analytics, user info, and can even serve as a backend for your app so you don't have to make it yourself. Using these, I was able to quickly identify and fix any issues that users were facing, preventing any potential problems. Now don't be afraid to release a more bare bones app than you originally planned. You can always add more features later and getting the app released sooner helps gather feedback and any potential issues. One thing I really wanted in Notally was repeating notifications, so that became the next feature I worked on. Now, using version control was really helpful during development. Whenever I needed to implement a big feature, like repeating notifications for example, I could create a new branch to hold any changes. This made sure I had a fully functioning version of Notally on the main branch that I could go back to at any time, and only once the feature was complete did I merge the feature back into the main branch. In fact, after implementing a first version of repeating notifications, I needed to rewrite some of it to allow for more advanced features in the future. Wow, I actually did some planning. 
So I created another branch to hold my updates until they were ready and functional. The result of these changes allowed a user to select how often they wanted a notification to repeat, from as often as every hour to as long as every decade. Not sure who's setting reminders to repeat every decade, but it's there if you want to. Importantly, they didn't clutter the user's notifications by resending the same notification if they didn't mark it as done, which is a problem I had with other apps. One piece of feedback that I received was to add multiple language support to Notally. I'd never done this before, so I did some research and then started to develop it. Basically, I gave every single piece of text in the app a key. This key would then be looked up by the app and replaced with whatever the correct translation is for the user. Now, of course, I needed the actual translations for this, and unfortunately, I only speak English. So I hopped into Google Translate and translated the entire app into French. I then stored these translations in a big spreadsheet containing all the languages for the app and wrote a small Python script to convert this spreadsheet into a format that could be used by the app. I also added a link in the settings page of the app where users could request access to the spreadsheet and contribute to the translations of the app. So from the past, I've learned that I'm terrible at marketing. I didn't want to spend much on advertising the app since the app isn't monetized, so it couldn't generate any money. Instead, I decided to make a couple of posts on Reddit. After a few days, I ended up getting over 150 downloads from the post. Not bad at all. In addition to this, I also got some valuable feedback from users, including the suggestion for translations, snoozing notifications, and a whole lot more. After the traction this post created, Notally actually got noticed by tech website Android Authority, who included me in both their weekly and monthly app showcase posts. This was quite a surprise, as I'd never been featured on any website like that before, and, well, before I knew it, I had amassed over 1600 more downloads from that exposure. My app also got mentioned in a YouTube video from How To Men, a similar tech creator, resulting in a further 800 or so downloads. Since Notally is doing so well, am I going to continue updating it? Of course. So far, I've added more languages thanks to the contributions from users, and Spanish and German are ready to be released in the next version. Snoozing notifications will also be available soon, which temporarily dismisses a notification for a configurable amount of time, in case you're busy at the time the reminder went off. Thanks to all the feedback sent by users in the Reddit post, the Play Store, and through the feedback link in the app, I've got plenty of ideas for future features which I can continue to work on in my spare time. So, Notably turned out to be far more successful than I ever expected. Thanks to the coverage from the various tech websites, users from around the world were directed to my app and have installed it. Of course, I did make mistakes during the development process, as everyone does. But the important thing is, I fixed them and continued working. I definitely achieved the goals I set myself when starting the app, including implementing all the features I needed, having a clean and modern UI, and not taking years to release the app, like I've done twice in the past.